Well, hello there. <laughs> My name is Mr. B, and you may remember me from Mr. B's class. Today we're going to talk about the inventions of the Industrial Revolution. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? In the old days, people did everything by hand. But a few people in Britain in the 1700s realized that was stupid. Machines can make work much easier and even make some people filthy rich. Textiles, or the stuff that you can make clothes out of, single-handedly led to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. To weave textiles, people began to use looms, but looms still were really hard to use. The first person recognized as improving looms was a British dude named John Kay. In 1733, John Kay invented the flying shuttle. It couldn't actually fly like a bird or a UFO, but it did help weavers weave yarn faster. In 1753, John's home was attacked by textile workers who were angry that his inventions might take work away from them. Tisk tisk. Around 1764, this dude named James Hargreaves invented a spinning jenny although most historians say someone else did he just got the credit what the heck was the spinning jenny just know that it allowed a worker to work eight or more spools of yarn at once meaning a lot more yarn could be produced in a shorter amount of time so this wig maker named richard arkwright heard about these sweet new inventions and he decided to create his own knowing he could potentially become a very wealthy man in the process Arkwright came up with the spinning frame, later called a water frame, when water power began to be used to drive it. Unlike the spinning jenny, the water frame could only spin one thread at a time. However, the thread was much stronger and thicker. In 1779, Samuel Crompton was like, hey, the spinning jenny's cool for quantity, and the water frame is cool for quality. Why not totally combine the two? So he did just that, inventing the spinning mule. Edmund Cartwright envisioned a machine that could weave cloth completely by itself, or at least, you know, very little help. In 1784, he designed the first power loom. The power loom was revolutionary in itself and has been modified many times since, and, in fact, it is still commonly used today. Another important invention of the Industrial Revolution was the cotton gin. The American Eli Whitney invented the machine in 1794 to easily separate cotton fibers from seeds. Scottish inventor James Watt thought about it for a while. Hmm. And then made great improvements to the steam engine. In 1775, he and Matthew Bolton, some rich guy who helped him out, began marketing his version of a steam engine. Now miners could easily remove water from mines and then later make things go on their own. There were thousands of other inventions, of course, during the Industrial Revolution, but those first seven got things going. And kudos to that. 